Hello, welcome to my video. Today I will uh, show you how to uh, assemble this pogo uh, pin uh, clamp that I got from AliExpress. Um, the tools uh, that I will use is uh, this screwdriver and this tweezer. Maybe even, even this uh, uh, tool uh, to, to tighten the screws. Uh, I bought this um, uh, two times six pin, uh, one point two seven millimeter um, uh, pogo pin clamp. Uh, it was delivered with the following components. Uh, we have uh, five uh, screw nuts. We have uh, two uh, short screws that uh, will be um, used for this component to tighten the cables to the clamp. Uh, there's also the spring that, that uh, belongs to the clamp. Uh, we have those uh, two uh, middle uh, long screws. Let me measure uh, the approximate size. It is, uh, I would say like 12 millimeters. The short screws are uh, 10 millimeters and there's also ah yeah those those two uh, 12 millimeter screws are used for, to um, attach uh, both of those PCBs uh, where the pogo pins are mounted to the clamp. I will show you in detail in, in a second and this long screw is used as a, the hinge for the uh, clamp. Let me quickly take a measurement for the length uh, and there it goes. Okay. So it is approximately 14 millimeters in length. So, and the pogo pins are the following ones. Uh, it was delivered with 10 pogo pins and uh, 10 sheets for the pogo pins. Uh, they are used for the installation. Uh, it is quite nice. I will show you how uh, the pogo pins are just slided uh, into those sheets at the end. And uh, it looks like this. Uh, in the end, this is a pogo pin inside the sheath. Yes, I already tried that out. So tie, uh, 10 pogo pins and uh, 10 sheaths, if you don't count this one, uh, which I already assembled. In the first step, I um, took the short uh, of the two parts of the hinge. I took the 12 millimeter screw and I took the, those two PCBs and I assembled it like this. Uh, so yes, you have two pairs of mounting holes on each side. I installed it at uh, the part with uh, on the short side. Uh, the other side that uh, we'll use later has those recesses for the nuts. It is uh, used for this part, the, the cable uh, uh, mount. Um, yes, and I installed it uh, um, with one screw because I can just uh, flip it open, install um, the sheaths and uh, then uh, um, I can close it, position the sheets and then um, I can solder them. A minor correction, I will do it the other way around. I will uh, leave this stationary and just move this aside and then install the sheets here and then move the small, small PCB back to... Uh... If you're done, it should look something like this. Here you see all the uh, sheets mounted. Don't mind the pogo pin sticking out. Uh, then I will just flip this. Ah, let me remove the... Now, now again, focus. Okay, close this. Turn it around. And all the pogo pins should fall into place. Like this. Let me install the, uh, the other pogo pins. So yes, I have installed the other pogo pins. Don't worry if they are not uh, they are not sitting equally. We will adjust it in a, in a second. I also installed the other screw with the other nuts, so it is fixed. Uh, yes, like this. And you see a few um, 
take the other part of the hinge. How it uh, will look at the end. Now come on, focus like this. Yeah. Now it's uh, the best time to solder. And uh, after that, uh, we will install the pogo pins and assemble the rest of the hinge. And to uh, get them all aligned equally, you can just uh, tap the blunt end uh, on the table, uh, press a little until it's, uh, there's a, a slight uh, uh, kind of, um, until you feel some resistance, like a small pop, then they, they all popped into place and uh, then they are mostly nice and equal. It should. If you have issues with soldering, um, don't worry, I uh, also messed up. So let me zoom in. Yes, uh, just use flux and some solder wick to get uh, the residual solder out. And it will look okay. Um, I had this uh, little tonish flying around, but um, 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 any fluid flux will do. Uh, I also use MTEC flux. It's also good. Uh, make sure your soldering iron is hot. Uh, I, I have mine at uh, 380 degrees. Yes, and see you. Ah, don't forget the wick, and see you in a minute. So, yeah, this looks better. Uh, basically, cut down small strips of uh, this uh, desoldering braid, this uh, desoldering wick. Uh, for this, I use the small one, one millimeter width. Where is it? I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's two millimeters or something. I don't know. Uh, anyway, uh, take those uh, strips. Um, use lots of flux, there's uh, never too much flux, and push it uh, to the spot. Press, uh, gently press your iron on, on top, uh, if, and, and the solder should be sucked up automatically. If, if it is not sucked up, you are not using enough flux. It is also always a good idea to check for shorts with the multimeter. I checked all the pins and I have a uh, short here. Uh, well, well, it's difficult one handed. Let me demonstrate. No depth perception. What's that? Short is gone. Ah. Okay. There was a short. I'm going to repeat the last process in uh, on this edge. So uh, use flux, take a bit of solder um, wick, and uh, yes, press it to the side. This looks better now. I used some, uh, some ethanol and a toothbrush to uh, clean the flux away. This is how it looks. Now I will uh, insert the, the pogo pins. Yes. See you in a second. This is how it looks. So you see the one pogo pin in the uh, front left that um, I already had pushed in, and uh, those are the other pogo pins. And yes, you can just uh, squeeze them in or install the other part of the clamp, and then gently push on the clamp, and then they should uh, spring into the uh, sheets and uh, be stuck there. Or you can uh, yes, gently push with the tweezer. Uh, be careful not to bend the pogo pin, uh, else it, it will be broken. Uh, I will install the clamp and then push on the clamp to um, let the pogo pin spring into place. Before we ins install the other part of the clamp, I will show you uh, how to install the, the mount for the cables. I uh, just used uh, five uh, DuPont cables um, that I will uh, lead here and uh, yes, uh, use those um, 10 millimeter screws and uh, the remaining two nuts to do this. 
think the easy, easiest way to uh, is to push uh, the two nuts into those recesses. You can use a little bit of glue to uh, glue the nuts in. So um, yes, they will stay stuck and you can just screw and unscrew it from um, uh, the other side without um, taking the whole assembly apart. So yes, this is how it should look. There's uh, one nut here and you can uh, uh, put the screw in here and then screw it together. So I attach the hinge. Now, uh, that was my multimeter. Let me turn it off. Now we should be able to gently push. See, I did not install the... And I lost something, oh no. So, again, I will try to push this in and it should spring in. Uh, it doesn't want to, maybe a little bit of force from the side, uh, from the top. Ah, yes, there it is. There, you should see it. Uh, yes, uh, I can even, uh, it should be fine. You can push put some piece of PCB in between there and push again for them to completely uh, spring into place. Yes, but I will leave it that way. I uh, also need to push the spring in. I think I will disassemble it again and put uh, the spring in now. I'll use maybe those tweezers to squeeze this together and uh, put the spring in between. Yes, I used uh, a, a little uh, stronger tweezer to uh, Squeeze the spring together, put it in here, and now it works. It should do fine. Pressure should, should be enough. If there's a PCB in, in between, it should be perfect.